is Xer. Today I'm going to show you how to create a counterparty wallet and generate a passphrase. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to exchange.io and then you just want to click on wallets and there's a bunch of different counterparty wallets but just for this demonstration we're just going to create a wallet and generate a passphrase. So you can use different wallets with the same passphrase um, after you generate uh, the wallet. So we're going to go to counterwallet.io. This is Counterparty's web wallet. It's the fastest way to create a wallet. And then you'll see here there's a bunch of different servers running it. Uh, you don't use testnet. You just want to make sure that it's a non-testnet wallet. For this demonstration, we're using HealthCoin Counterwallet server. And all you're going to do is just click Create New Wallet. And of course, you want to make sure at the top that you're at counterwallet.io. Um, there are sites that may try to impersonate um, counter wallets, so you want to make sure you have the right URL in there or they will steal your passphrase when you go to open your wallet. Okay, so right here you see the 12-word passphrase. You want to make sure you write this down and don't lose it. So number one rule is don't lose your passphrase. Number two rule is don't share your passphrase. So we're going to write this down. We're going to copy it out. After you've written it down, just click the button right here. I've written down and otherwise securely stored my passphrase. Click continue. I'm going to ask you if you want a quick access URL. We're just going to skip this step. And now your wallet's ready to go. So just enter your 12 word passphrase into here. Once you enter your passphrase, click open wallet. And after you've read the terms and conditions of the license agreement, accept the terms. And now you have your own counter wallet or counterparty enabled wallet where you can receive counterparty assets or otherwise called NFTs. Um, when you log in, you'll see a couple different addresses. Um, counter wallet can hold multiple different Bitcoin addresses inside a single wallet. So if you wanted to receive assets or Bitcoin, uh, counter wallet or counterparty wallets are Bitcoin wallets that have um, the ability to read data inside Bitcoin. Uh, that would be the NFTs or the counterparty assets that are stored inside Bitcoin. So if you wanted to receive a counterparty asset and you wanted to store it in your own personal Bitcoin wallet, you would just come up here, show QR code, and you could send a, anyone could send a counterparty asset to your wallet address. This would be your wallet address right here for this particular my address number one. So the rules are never share your passphrase because if you share your passphrase, um, all the contents and value with inside can be stolen by the person who has control of that passphrase. And rule number two is never lose your passphrase. If you lose your passphrase, um, you'll no longer be able to access your wallet and it's unrecoverable. You have no chance of ever getting back inside or getting the NFTs or value out of that wallet again. Uh, that's going to conclude the intro into creating and securing your passphrase. Uh, we're going to dive deeper into uh, counterparty wallets, especially freewallet.io in the future. Um, look out for it. Thanks.